Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. So, my viewer scared man? I don't know how to pronounce that name, to be honest. However, he asked me to explain the difference between the two words denn and weil and when to use which one. So, let's find out. All right, I think in order to be able to distinguish between those two words, we should talk about each word separately. So let's begin with den. Den is basically the German equivalent for the English because. So you basically give a reason for something. Why has XYZ happened like that? Well, because. For reasons, you know. Grammatically, den is a conjunction, die Konjunktion, and a conjunction basically connects two equal sentences, two ordinate clauses, der Hauptsatz Singular, die Hauptsätze Plural. Depending on different grammar theories people actually prefer, well, you could also refer to a conjunction as something that connects an ordinate clause and a subordinate clause, but I'd rather call that a subjunction, die Subjunktion. You can basically tell different conjunctions and subjunctions by their different, well, semantic expression, what they actually express in a sentence. You basically have two ordinate clauses that are connected by the conjunction den. Like, first something happened, and then you give a reason for that. Like, why is it like that? You get to know that in the second ordinate clause. Another important aspect of this is how can you tell an ordinate clause from a subordinate clause? Good question. Let's take a look at an exemplary sentence for the conjunction denn. Ich kann erst morgen den Rasen mähen, denn es hat heute geregnet. The second sentence, after the comma, is another ordinate clause, like I said before, two ordinate clauses. You can see that one part of the verb hat can be found on the second position and the other part can be found at the end of this ordinate clause. It's the same for the first ordinate clause. First a basic information and a basic situation, so to speak. And then you are given a reason for why you can't do something or why something is the way it is. Then as a conjunction is mostly used in written German, by the way. So you might have noticed another aspect about the conjunction den, which also counts for all other conjunctions. Because, well, you basically have two ordinate clauses, like I said before, and the conjunction den is connecting those two. But if you'd get rid of the conjunction in between, you'd still have two perfectly working and fine ordinate clauses. Yeah. And this, by the way, wouldn't be possible with a subjunction. So let's talk a bit about the word weil. Weil is not a conjunction, but a subjunction. What does this mean again? A subjunction is always linked to a subordinate clause. So you can basically memorize it like that, because subjunction, subordinate clause. Der Nebensatz Singular, die Nebensätze Plural. But although there is this grammatic difference, well, semantically it's pretty much the same, because weil also gives a reason for something. Ich kann erst morgen den Rasen mähen, weil es heute geregnet hat. Holy moly, it's practically the same exemplary sentence, isn't it? But have a closer look at it for a moment, because it's not exactly the same, only kind of. Have you found the difference? The verb can be found at the end of the sentence. So it's not only den versus weil. That would be too easy. It's also about the shift of the verb hat from position 2 to being the last word of the sentence. Ich kann erst morgen den Rasen mähen, denn es hat heute geregnet. Versus Ich kann erst morgen den Rasen mähen, weil es heute geregnet hat. Alright, lots of grammar input. And maybe it's a good idea to sum things up at the end of this video now. Den is a conjunction. It's used in ordinate clauses, die Hauptsätze, and it's mainly used in written German. You can also come across it in spoken German, but that's not the common case, to be honest. Weil is a subjunction. It's used in subordinate clauses, die Nebensätze, and it's used in both written and spoken German pretty much, well, equally often, I'd say. Interestingly enough, you might come across some Germans using something like, well, 
crossover structures really. So what those people do is actually using weil like a conjunction. They basically use weil like denn. So they are using weil and an ordinate clause, which wouldn't be the case normally. But be careful here because this special phenomenon is highly colloquial and informal. But just to give you a little idea of what I'm talking about. Ich kann erst morgen den Rasen mähen, weil es hat heute geregnet. It sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? However, my advice to you as learners would be focus on the main meaning and the main use of denn and weil in the German language first. And then you can proceed to something like that, more colloquial things. So, scar, scarred man, scared man, I don't know. However, thanks for asking the question in the first place. And if you have a similar question regarding the German language, a certain word, or like a grammar phenomenon that you don't really understand yet, that's no problem. Feel free to ask this question in the comments. And maybe I might do a question, a question? Maybe I might do a video about that question too. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, that really helps the channel a lot, as well as sharing this video with other learners you might know, and well, subscribing doesn't hurt either, so just go for it. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'm your Vlog Dave, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.